Hey everyone, welcome to our YouTube tutorial on Redis Pub Sub integration with the Spring Boot. In this tutorial, we will explore how to integrate Redis and Spring Boot to build a robust scalable and real-time messaging system using the PubSub pattern. PubSub pattern means it's a short form of publisher and subscriber. If we talked about the PubSub messaging pattern is a design pattern which is basically used to distributed system to decouple the producer and consumer of information. If we talked about the key concept of it, so first of all we need to talk about the publisher. So this is an entity that sends a message to a message broker or an intermediary. Publisher do not send messages directly to the subscriber but to a central topic or channel. Now if we talked about the subscriber, so this is an entity that receive messages from a message broker. And message broker, this message broker actually it's a mediator that manages the distributions of messages from publisher to subscriber. Example of the message broker include this Redis, Apache Kafka, RabbitMQ and the Google Cloud pops up. Now we will talk about the topic or the channels. It's a logical names or addresses to which publishers send messages and from which subscriber actually receive those messages. So these are the key concepts of it. Next, what we are going to do? We are going to create the project where we are going to add the dependencies and setting up the Spring Boot application. Now we need to setting up the project. So how we are going to setting up the project? We need to go to the Spring Initializer. Over there we need to select the dependencies and the also we need to select the metadata. And then we need to create the project. For creating the application, we can take help from the Spring Boot Initializer. So this is a site from where we can create the either Maven or Gradle, whatever you need, that type of project we can create easily. We just need to follow some steps over here. Like if you want to create the Maven project, then you need to choose that Maven project type as Maven, then language Java, then version, and here you need to provide the artifact related things. And for implementing this, Spring Boot pops up so we need this driver like Spring Data Redis which will having this Java Redis client and all those informations and as we need to create some kind of the REST API so that's why this is Spring Web is required. So these are the ne necessary dependencies these two basically we need to add for creating our project. This is not necessary but for um, like provide the first application restart, live reload for those information or for those kind of functionalities we just need this Spring Boot dev tools but these are the necessary dependencies that we need to use into our project dependencies so after setting all the informations over here once you clicked on the generate then it will actually generate the project for us and now we need to import into our Eclipse editor I am using the Eclipse you can use any editor maybe IntelliJ or any your favorite editor okay so after importing it it will be look like something this after that we will create the next create the redis configuration and all after creating the project we need to import it into our eclipse editor and after that we need to create the respective necessary classes for redis configuration so here we need to configuring the redis connection in either in the application properties or by default also it will take the necessary configurations so we just need to create the configuration class where we need to defining the redis template and the connection factory now we are going to create the class for which will basically having the redis configurations so redis configuration means it will actually having this uh, like uh, the redis connection factory and also we need to create this redis template where we need to pass this redis connection factory if you see that redis connection factory those are coming from this spring boot framework data dot redis so because we have already used this redis dependencies starter into our pom file as a dependencies so this bin and this bin we need to create for redis configuration one is the redis connection factory which will be basically led to connection factory 
here we are creating this object of this one and next we need to create the template of it for creating the template it's having actually this redis template and after that we need to provide this connection factory over here now we are going to implement the publisher class so here what we are going to do we are going to creating a service to publish the message to a redis channel now we are going to create that publisher class which will basically send the messages to the subscriber or message broker from where the subscriber pull the messages so for message publisher basically we need to create one service class which will basically send the messages to the subscriber so how it will be look like so here if you see the redis template actually are using with the key like a string is a key and object is a this is the data that we are going to send and this is the redis template so here if you see using the redis template is having one method that convert and send so it will basically means it will decide that for for which channel we need to send these messages so this is the message and this is the channel means if we open this class convert and send so here if you see this is the channel and this is the message basically so means which channel we need to send and which what message actually we need to send so that actually we need to define over here so this is actually about this publisher next we need to create the subscriber now we are going to implement the subscriber means we are going to setting up a redis message listener which will basically listen the messages from the publisher so here we are going to create the listener class to handle the incoming messages so now we are going to create this subscriber class the responsibility of this subscriber which will basically listen the message that is sent by the publisher okay so if we want to create this uh, create this class so it will be again a one service uh, class and it will basically implement this message listener okay so this message listener which will come from this if you see that redis connection dot message listener after implementing this one we need to override this on message which will having these two parameter one is the message and another is the pattern this particular message actually having the message that is sent by the publisher so that means whatever the data we have sent that is actually once we are start this application then message subscriber will listen the data from the broker and it will receive the data and we can print it over here after that we need to basically register this listener into means we need to create one bin for that in a redis message uh, uh, listener config so we are going to create another class where basically we are going to create that particular bin so let me create that class so if you see over here we need to create this configuration class redis message listener config where we need to create two bins one is the container another one is the message listener here if you see for the message listener we are registering this message subscriber and this container actually having two parameter one is the connection factory and the another one is the message listener and those we need to set in the container like in a container we are setting this container factory and also set message listener here and if you see notice that the channel okay the pattern actually or topic we need to set over here means which topic we need to send the data or maybe we need to receive the data this particular topic is needed over here whenever we are going to send the messages then we need to pass this channel name while sending the message through the publisher okay i'll show you means we are going to now create one controller where basically we need to defining this publisher and we need to create one getting get method that where actually the request param will be the message means that we are going to send and the publisher will be publish this message by this channel name so here it will be your channel name so that channel name we have defined over here right so from here while we are going to publish the data then we need to mention the channel means which channel basically we need to send the data and here we need to send the message so after using this one we can easily publish the messages and listener will basically listen the data from over here means if you want to subscriber it will listen the data from the like uh, from this uh, pub from this channel okay so this controller actually basically responsible to send the messages publish the messages to the message broker and from the message broker listener pick up the data by this channel and it will print the data in the log okay 
so this is actually about this controller so next what we are going to do we are going to test the application now the application is ready so next what we are going to do we are going to start the redis locally and also we are going to start this spring boot application and then we will push some messages through the rest api and then it, it will be listened by this redis listener for testing this application first of all we need to install redis server into our locally so i've already installed this redis one into our local machine and from over here if you extract this one then if you see this redis server.exe if you double click this one then it, it will actually start this one okay the redis server actually started backend in a background so once this redis server got started then we need to start our spring boot application how we are going to start this one in a main class application we just need to right click and run as java application so once we will do this then it will start this application and it will also print at the log uh, in the console so once once it will start then we will check from the browser if you see application got started over here and also like we have started the redis server over here now we are going to go to the browser and we are going to like call this particular controller this get mapping method right this publish with this message as message as a parameter request parameter that actually you need to call let me clear this console okay now from the browser localhost 880 publish message equals to test now if we click this one if you see we are getting the message message published now like if we go to the application over here if you see the receive message whatever the message we have sent that is printed over here how it is coming from like in the subscriber receive message and this is the message okay so this is actually in this way we can easily integrate means we can integrate this redis and spring boot to behave as a publisher and the subscriber so now we have successfully integrated redis pub sub with the spring boot and also building a powerful with that we can building a powerful scalable and the real-time messaging system from scratch so if we just recap the things like what we have learned the pub sub pattern we have explored the fundamentals of publisher and um, subscriber pattern and how it helps to decouple the producer and the consumer in a messaging system right we have also learned about that how we are going to set up the redis and spring boot and how to configure them to work together seamlessly we have also implemented the publisher and the subscriber we walked through the process of the implementation we have also registered those bin over here now like uh, we have like got a like solid foundations that we can start to applying this concept to your own projects experiment with different use cases in and see your system with additional features and explore other powerful integrations with redis and spring boot Thank you for join, joining me on this journey through Redis Pops Up with Spring Boot. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider liking the videos, sharing it with others who might benefit and subscribing to our channel for more in-depth tutorial. Feel free to leave any questions, feedback or suggestion in the comment below. I love to hearing from you and always here to help you on your learning journey. Until next time, keep coding. Thank you.